So Roosevelt is elected president in November 1932. He then has these lame duck months, as they're called, where he doesn't actually officially take over that job um, until February 1933. Now, when he takes over, as we discussed on the previous tutorial, 25% of people in, the America, in America, that's 13 million people, were out of work. So unprecedented numbers of people did not have a job. There were certain pressing things that Roosevelt had to deal with straight away. Uh, he couldn't wait. He had to deal with them. The first one was the fact that lots and lots of banks were failing. And when a bank failed, people lost their savings and it affected the American economy, the wider American economy, really badly. And it was already uh, really, really precarious, the whole situation. So he passed something called the Emergency Banking Act. This closed banks for, uh, I think it was five days. Banks were actually closed for a series of bank holidays. So, you know, it was it was a real, uh, um, I don't think some people will have been particularly happy about this in the United States, not being able to use their bank for a few days. But in that time, what Roosevelt did was he inspected all the banks so he inspected the banks and his main aim was to make sure that those banks that were running well stayed open. But those banks that had, had not been running well, had been doing the wrong things, had been investing badly, um, were suspect, would, would be closed. Uh, those, those banks would be closed. Um, so he inspected banks and he made or, or at least temporarily closed and he made sure that the only banks that would remain open were the ones that he could rely on and that savers could therefore rely on. So it was all about trust. It was a, a massive thing was was trust when it came to the Emergency Banking Act um, to make sure that people understood that he as a president was going to make sure that their money was safe. That's the first thing, because a lot of people had already lost a lot of their savings from 1929 to 1933. And this was all in his, uh, remember, this is all in his first 100 days as president. The second one was the Economy Act. The Economy Act was really, really simple, actually. Um, it cut government employees' wages by 15%. So it's a massive drop, actually, in... Uh, real-time wages for government employees. The president himself actually took a 15% wage cut. So he was serious about this. So all military personnel, uh, all civil servants, uh, all people who worked personally for Roosevelt would be taking a fifth teachers, you know, as well. And any government employee would be taking a 15% pay cut uh, straight away. This would obviously save the government money. Uh, which was the main aim of this. It was very, very straightforward, really. Um, and he did that straight away. And, and to be honest with you, on the whole, people in America understood the fact that this had to happen. Um, so, so that was that. Also, what he did, and this was in some ways controversial, but the whole prohibition experiment, which uh, happened from 1921 onwards, when the sale and consumption of alcohol in the United States had been banned, People recognised that this ban on alcohol had probably caused more problems than what it had solved with the gangsters, the likes of Al Capone and, and so on. So what Roosevelt did is he repealed prohibition. Uh, he repealed prohibition. So he basically cancelled prohibition. Now, this was important for the economy because what that meant was bars, pubs, and, and restaurants could now sell alcohol and make money for it. And this is hopefully going to create jobs. But it also meant that uh, the government could create, uh, could collect tax on alcohol. So it was a very clever move, really. And also it helped uh, Roosevelt win the November 1932 election on, the, on this kind of ticket that he was going to allow people to drink again. Um, people would be very pleased about that, bearing in mind how the economy... Uh, was was going at that time. A lot of them were out of work as well. So he passed the Beer Act. And the final one that he did in his first 100 days, which I suppose is nothing to do with the economy, although it does link to this word over here a lot. He introduced his 
fireside chats. It's fireside chats. So every week on the radio, Roosevelt would go on air and talk to the American people. Uh, in some cases, he would actually talk about his, uh, walking his dog, uh, what he did on the weekend. He would he would be very personable. He would talk to the American people uh, like ordinary people in ordinary language. And this endeared him to them. And it, it really increased that idea that Roosevelt was a safe pair of hands when it came to dealing with all, all the issues that we discussed when we talked about the, the depression, all, all the things that he needs to do. Uh, so by talking to them for 10, 15 minutes every week, he made sure that they understood what he was doing, why he was doing it. And it, it gave the people a sense that he cared, um, which is in stark contrast, if you remember, to their view of uh, Hoover, the previous president, the previous Republican president of the USA. So all in all, uh, a lot of activity happening in Roosevelt's first 100 days. And of course, this all led to the establishment of the New Deal, which we will discuss in the next tutorial.